Hi, Bob Hot Rod Roar from Kalapi. A frequently asked question is um, how do I mount the iSolar controller? So I'm going to show you three different great options for mounting the iSolar controller on your job site. So we'll sit down and get started. All right, let's go over three different mounting options for the iSolar control. Now the iSolar control comes in a version um, 2, a version 4, and the plus version. And they're all the same size, the same dimension. So the same mounting that I'm going to show you here will work for any three of those controls. Probably the most common uh, mounting option is just to mount this on a wall if you're in a basement, maybe a block wall, concrete wall, or stud wall. And to do that, on the back there's two different mounting holes and they have to be five inches apart, 5.1 to be exact. Notice the top one is kind of an egg-shaped hole and the bottom one is just a, um, a round hole. So what you do is you put your screw in the wall for the top one, hook it on there, they come down and then your second uh, screw goes into the bottom there. So now you can get it on there, get it level, nice and level, put a level on it so it's plumb, and then tighten up the bottom screw and you've got it mounted nice and solidly. Option number one. Now we also, this is pretty nice, we also um, have this optional mounting box. What's nice about the mounting box is now it gives you all these um, provisions to put either a conduit in there, a Romex connector, maybe BX is what you're going to wire to your pumps. So it gives you a little bit more options and it also gives you a lot more mounting space for the wiring in there. So if you're going to bring in multiple connections for maybe two pumps or something like that, now you've got a little bit more room to make your connections with wire nuts or something. So that's the box. Mount that on the wall, of course, level or plumb. Screw that to the wall. And then notice this nice little cover that we've made for it. And you'll see the cover is already drilled and punched out, so it's going to accept the controller. So the two mounting holes on the back match up with that, and then you just knock out these two little punch outs in the back, and that's where your wire will come back from the box through the back of the controller and into your terminal strip. And that's what it will look like. Now, one thing I want to caution you about this is when you put the screws in from the back into this, there's the screw that I like to use. It's about half inch long so that when you screw it in there, you don't hit the circuit board that's inside there. So probably the simplest way to do this, put the screw in from the back like that and take a screwdriver that's got the um, quarter inch drive um, socket in it, like this. And you'll see the screw with like a, uh, a self-tapping screw like that will fit right in there. Get through the back. Here, let me do this a little bit simpler. Put that like that. If you're smart, you can do it this way the screw through there and just tighten it on there. So you put the two screws in like that, tighten them up. I won't tighten up because I'm going to take this off. And now that gets mounted on the box. So that's a great way to do it. The third option, if you're going to use the uh, Kalafi Solar Pump Station, just so it turns out, that the foam jacket that goes on the front of our solar pump stations has a pocket, a reset built to accept this control to go right in there. So what you'll do is you'll just feed the wire down through the opening like this and that's going to nestle in there. Now when that goes in there, two screws are included in the kit with the solar pump station, not with the controller. Now notice these screws are quite a bit longer because what has to happen with these it has to reach through the foam to reach into the controller. So these screws are going to drop, you'll see a couple recesses in the back there. You're going to drop those screws down in there like this, push them down with your Phillips screwdriver, put your controller in there, straight, then take your Phillips and you can just reach down there like that and tighten those up. So that's another way to do it. And that's a nice way to do it if you want the controller and then there's a couple different covers that slide over this. Make up your wiring connection here, and put your uh, your trim cover over, and you're set to go. So there's option one, two, and three. Screw it to the wall, put it on the special mounting box, or put it right in the foam uh, jacket for the front of the pump station. There you go.